Uh oh, look out, Paul oh, oh, Street. Oh. Here comes Nadine. Be bad. <laughs> How y'all doing? We've, we've been doing better. I gotta tell y'all something. Go ahead. It's good to see y'all two here. I was out here talking to a woman today and she said, you know, you're crazy. And she didn't say it in a nice way. Uh huh. And she said, you got a lot of problems, don't you? And I said, well, I do. I don't know how many because math is one of them. <laughs> and then the alphabet got involved and I really got in trouble. <laughs> and then I looked at her and I just thought, well, I said, well, if you're crazy and you know it, shake your meds. <laughs> Ticked me off a little bit. Just a little. A little bit. I had to get that off my chest. Now, how y'all doing? <laughs> Do you know Paul? I, no, I have not met Paul over the street. I don't I've think we met. But I want to tell you something. I know a whole heck of a lot yeah, about you. Yeah, just remember. <laughs> I definitely remember. I think. I know a whole lot about you. Oh, yeah, I we did. We met in a bar night. down in, in New Orleans once, didn't we? No, I don't think that was me. <laughs> My husband's here tonight. I don't think that was me. <laughs> yeah, he's a big and I, yeah, I don't think it was you either. Because <laughs> he's a big old boy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no. Uh, I just got to tell y'all. First of all, I got to say hi to Julie. Julie. Who is Joey's best friend. She's uh, over here with Indy. Yeah. Um, it's so good to have y'all here. I'm just really glad to have y'all. Um, but I know all about Rory, but I didn't know about you, so I had to go and check you out. Oh boy. And you know, I've always known that Rory was a good daddy, and, and he's, a, he's just a good parent. Uh, although his books sometimes say otherwise, but <laughs> Joey helped him out a whole lot, so he's been pretty good. But now you've got two boys and a girl that's done really well. So apparently you've got something to do with that. No, I... That's you my didn't. wife. You were gone all the time, and she did it. <laughs> so we, but we had six children, two boys and four girls. Oh, well, then I just misread that whole Where's thing. Where's your information coming from? No, you know what? No, from. it's coming back. You got a 14-year-old. No, I have a 19-year-old. Uh, <laughs> I was reading about somebody else. <laughs> Must have been another Paul. <laughs> no, no, you, you've got a son that was on Glee. Yes. Now, see, I got that right. Yes. You keep guessing long enough, you'll hit something right. <laughs> you better go ahead and get to the church sign or we're going to be in trouble. Oh, no. No, oh, no. I'm, I'm going to stretch this out another 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter told me that when she was in labor, she said, you know, that labor was so hard, but that kid was worth it. But it just made me realize that probably women understand more about when men have a fever, how they feel. <laughs> the pain. <laughs> See, all these women got it. The women think it's real funny, huh? It's because they've never had that much pain before. I like the. Uh, oh man. I like the guy that the, the lady that was saying to her husband, "You want to know what it's like to give birth?" No. And he said, "Yeah." She said, "Grab your lip." Carol Burnett said that. And pull it up. That hurts, doesn't it? He said, yeah, it hurts. He said, now, she said, now pull it over your head. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's about what it feels like. <laughs> well, All right, give know, me the church sign. All right, church sign is the most precious jewels you'll ever wear around your neck are the arms of your children. I like that. Oh, that's good. That's a good I like one. that. Thank you. Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and ring the bell.